Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a mega menu for your fashion or any design landing page you're actually planning to create. So as you can see when I actually click on this drop down icon you can actually see this large mega menu actually appearing and when I actually use the hover over the text you can actually see what happens and uh, so this is some cool animation and then I can actually move around in different places. So I'm going to learn how to do this in a few simple steps using Figma. Alright, let's get into today's video. Alright, so in a former video, we actually created a landing page, this one. So now we want to create a cool mega menu when the user actually clicks on this drop down icon here, when they click to shop. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So first of all, we're going to actually design the mega menu right on the side. So we're going to draw a box right on the side. We're going to give it some dimensions. Let's give it a width of, you know what, 1088. Then let's go with uh, a height of 1, Actually, let's go with 491, you know what, why not. So this is going to be a mega menu, we're going to give it a pure white color. You know what, for it to be visible, let's change the environment background color to something light blue. So that actually this is made very visible. Okay, so right here we're going to add some text so we're gonna design our mega menu all right so in our mega menu we're gonna type some text we're gonna have let's type in the text men then we're gonna change this to size let's go with 21 okay so we're gonna have that as our first one right there all right so we're gonna design it uh, a little bit so we're gonna make use of this pen tool so we're going to draw a line right below. So this is just for design purposes. Okay, not too thick, but I think that's good enough. So that's going to be some example of text we're going to have right below. And then what we want is we want to give life to our text. So we're going to have some text right below. But uh, let's, let's first type in some text. Blazers. Okay, there we go. So this is gonna be in the men's category. But now we just wanna we just want this to actually have some some cool feel because it's gonna be uh, a website that's gonna be we want it to actually be lively and be dynamic. So gonna make this a component. So gonna create a component out of this. So gonna create component. So we have a component right there. Now inside the component we're gonna add some properties. We're gonna add a variant. So let's just stretch this a little bit. So we'll have a default inside that ver that, that component. So I'm gonna duplicate this, click Ctrl D on your keyboard. So I actually have two forms of text, let's say blazers. So let's actually just close that a little bit. So we're gonna go to variant two, then we're gonna move this a little bit towards the right. Just make sure to hold the right direction on your keyboard, okay? So it's just moving a little bit towards the right. That's actually what we want. Then we just want to make sure we give this uh, this text there a kind of uh, purple, light purple feel. Yes, light purple, pink feel, as you can see. Okay, and uh, there we go. So I'm going to place this right towards the right. Now, we want that to happen when actually user hovers over this text. So, we're going to go to prototype mode. We're going to add an interaction. The interaction is going to be while hovering, change to variant 2. That should happen as a smart animation. Uh, we can actually have that happen in, let's go with 500 milliseconds. So, that actually will just be lively. So, let's actually duplicate this, uh, the default. Let's go back to the design mode. Duplicate the default. Yes, and we're going to place it right there. Now, we're going to test this later, but uh, I know it will work. All right, so we're going to type in some more text. So we're going to duplicate this. Let's just space everything by 30. So we're going to change this text to 
jackets duplicate this let's just make sure the spacing in between remains 30 it's spacing in between this other text change this to um, t-shirts duplicate this make sure the spacing remains 30 I'm gonna change this to let's just type in collections duplicate this make sure to follow the rule that the spacing is 30 yes then this is gonna be sports shoes okay and then lastly we're gonna duplicate it one more time the spacing should be 30 yes then we're gonna change this to jeans okay that looks uh, that looks fantastic so i'm gonna copy everything so just make sure to hold shift select everything that includes this line right there so i'm gonna duplicate all this by holding alt okay there we go then i'm gonna just change this to women Okay, so we're just going to edit this so that we actually have a women's category. Let's change this to dresses. Change this to women's jeans. Change this to women's skirts. And this is going to be night wear. This shall be blouses. And lastly, yeah, let's add women's shoes. Okay, let's spell that properly. Okay, there we go. And we actually have that category. So we're going to uh, add another category. Let's actually add another category for simple accessories. So gonna space okay let's just make sure the space is actually uniform so actually have to make it 84 okay so we're gonna change this the text here to accessories okay now accessories includes a lot of different things like sunglasses we can have watches oh let's just make sure we're editing well watches we have jewelry then we can have uh, why not gloves in case the weather is actually cold weather perfumes then lastly we can have hats okay that's looking good so next we're gonna just insert some images right next to these so for that we're gonna draw some boxes some rectangular boxes you know what let's give them some dimensions let's try uh, a width of 370 and we can give that a height of something like 150 okay that looks good just make sure they actually at the same height okay then we can duplicate this okay that's okay that's looking good um so next we can add some images right here let's just make use of our plugin and splash black background yeah man black background <laughs> now let's go with this this actually looks good let 
then you can actually have woman in a white background now let's go with this one now we're gonna do some cropping so let's start, start with the one of the men let's do some cropping there I'm just gonna position it like that and then uh, I may actually want to rotate that let's actually you know what let's actually just rotate that a little bit so let's just go to flip let's flip horizontal yeah okay so actually I just want to just flip that horizontally and that actually looks much better so let's do some cropping again now let's move that image more towards the right okay much better then we're gonna do the same thing here but we're gonna f also f let's actually flip that horizontally also then we're gonna crop just want to make sure it actually just fits perfectly There we go. I want to make sure the rest of the environment actually matches with this color. So just make sure to select the remaining gray and we're going to give it. And there we go. So we have it uniform. So we're going to do the same thing up here. So I want to make sure this other rectangle space is actually also set to black as you can see there. Okay, and there we go. That's looking much better. All right, so we're going to type in some text here. So we're going to type in the text uh, fashion. 2023. So this is set to size 17. All right. Then below that, we're gonna duplicate that. Then this is gonna be the women's collection. Then we're gonna set this other to bold. And we're gonna to increase this size to 20. So that's the men's so there's the men's collection and there's the women's collection so we're gonna duplicate this by holding alt then we're gonna change this to white so it's actually visible on the other side okay so we're gonna place this so this is the men's collection There we go. That's actually looking neat and legit. Okay, now it's actually looking neat and legit, so we can actually just come out of that. So we're gonna group everything that we've actually just created. So we're gonna group that, group selection. They're gonna call this group shopping menu. All right, now we wanna test that out, but before we do that, we're gonna go to our menu right on our image. So just make sure to the, you go to the menu you actually created we're gonna go to the navigation menu then we're gonna let's actually group all these let's call that the navigation menu okay so we're gonna turn this navigation menu into a component so we can click this and then it's already a component so let's first drag that entire component right below here okay so we have it as a component so we're gonna add some properties to it one of the properties we're gonna add is variants 
so we have that default variant then we actually want to create another one so let's just first stretch this out so we're gonna duplicate this default by clicking ctrl d and we have this other one right there all right so inside this variant 2 we're gonna add this menu to actually create it right there so we have this shopping menu just make sure that it's actually positioned uh, inside variant 2 just make sure it's actually the last item right below so actually we want to make sure this actually pops out or appears when a user clicks on this drop down okay and then when when this drop down actually comes out we want to make sure that it's actually flipped in reverse so it actually now faces upwards as 90 okay and uh yeah there we go so that's actually what we want so we're gonna add some prototyping we're gonna go to let's go back to that default make sure you have this drop down selected or when a user clicks on the word shop in general there's gonna be an interaction to actually change to variant two that to actually happen as a smart animation in let's say 600 milliseconds then when a user actually clicks on this on the upper arrow or the word shop the second time it's also gonna do the same thing it will change to the default and that actually also happen as a smart animation in 600 milliseconds all right now we're gonna test that out but before we do that let's go back to the design form then we're gonna make a copy of this default i do that by holding alt then we're gonna place this back there onto our design all right so next it's time to actually test it out let's but let's change the environment the prototype let's just make sure that the environment is set to something like this is just give it a light play environment let's just click test play all right so all our landing page is actually loaded so let's see what happens when i actually click on this menu you can actually see it actually changes into a hand so when i click on that oh something we've actually just missed uh, when you go here let's actually select this oh you can actually see the shopping menu is not inside variant 2 and that's actually something we have to resolve so the variant 2 is right here so just make sure to drag this make sure it's actually right below it should actually be in variant 2 that's actually why it's not appearing all right so here is our page that is actually loaded so you can actually see when i actually click on this drop down menu you can actually see that the entire mega menu actually appears and actually as we had actually created you can actually set an actual hover over every text you can actually see that the cool animation that actually happens this actually happens for all and uh that's yeah that's something cool that's actually what we had actually just created and that's actually what we wanted so i hope this video really helped you if you feel this video really helped you feel free to tell me below in the comments and then if you're new to this channel I encourage you to join the community by subscribing and then please make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get updated every single time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye